Well, I, I think the, um, the infrastructure landscape is, is changing. So firstly, uh, projects are getting larger, they're getting ever more complex, and the public sector can't actually afford them, and they're having to partner with the, with the private sector. I think um, the second thing that's a big shift is that the uh, public scrutiny on these projects is that much greater than it ever used to be because the public is more in the know. The industry itself is on the brink of um, digital disruption and we're all seeing, already seeing signs of it. And if you take those three trends, that really means that there's uh, a sort of changing shape of leader required in the infrastructure sector. And I think really there's, there's four things that we look for when we're looking for infrastructure leaders. Uh, the first is uh, the ability to uh, think strategically, uh, by which we mean being able to think conceptually but also think analytically. So that's, uh, that, that's, that's, that's key, but that's more emphasised, I think, than years ago. The second thing is the, the commercial skills. The contracts are more complex. Uh, the understanding of not just the customer, but the consumer, I think, has a greater orientation than it used to. The ability to collaborate and influence. If you think through um, the, um, the value chain and the activity chain, you've got um, you know, you've got government, you've got regulators and legislators, you've got um, technology, employees, customers, consumers. And last but not least, slightly differently, given that projects are incredibly complex, uh, and they're not just complex in terms of their size, they're complex because of the number of stakeholders involved, all of which are uh, uh, stakeholders that need managing. That is a, is a critical capability, I think, of the new, of the modern infrastructure leader, more so perhaps than even in the past. The world is so complex, mega projects are so big and so large and so expensive that uh, leaders can't have the answers to everything. They can know everything. You cannot be a better engineer than your construction and engineering team. You cannot be a better financier than your investment bank. The, the leader needs to um, ask the right questions, he needs to be able to ask the right questions, uh, listen for the answers, uh, and importantly, gather the right resources uh, across the organization as well as from outside of the organization uh, to be able to you know, get to the right answer, even if the CEO or the leader himself or herself doesn't, doesn't have that technical answer.